Keep it up. Are we live? Press the button. Press the button. <laughs> press the button. We're live. Okay, we got oh, it, Miles. Okay. I pressed right. the button, Miles. I okay. pressed the button. Jesus Christ. Let's Woo! go. Okay, let's do this. All right. Everybody out there, this is the Nissan Nerd Podcast. Thank you for making it. My name is Mike the Lashmut and the crazy guy. Shit, what are you doing with your hands? You're doing <sighs> something. That's Miles Hall. <laughs> All right, on today's show, we're going to break down Nissan's latest commercial. We're going to talk about the latest rumors regarding the new Z car, and we're going to preview a very busy motorsport weekend ahead for Nissan here on the Nissan Nerd Podcast. Hey, we're having another episode, episode, episode. It's another episode, episode, episode. But guess what? Yeah, what? This one, this one's special, more special than normal. Because why, Mike? Um, go on. April Fools. April Fools. No, it is. It's a special day, isn't it? We just we just we just passed it. All right. Well, there's three things about this show that we need to talk about, right? Yes. Go on. I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> uh, Figure it out. I don't know what you're talking about, man. What? You talking about the headlines I gave in the beginning? Yeah. Well, that three things. But, yes. you know, the big thing that we got to talk about is it's been one year. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we've been married for a year. What did you get me? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I got you. Um, you got me nothing. I got you. You, nothing, you look man. like that husband that's about to drive out to Walgreens to See, pick up I, a late night gift because you, you forgot. You forgot it was our one year anniversary. I did. And just before I did, I bought a candy bar, the same receipt as your as your card that I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been a year, man. Uh, now, so this is our, how many episodes is this? Jesus. So this is episode 24. Yeah, so not a, not a magical number. It was last time. 23 would have been time. good. 23 Nissan, is always synonymous with Nissan. Yeah, yeah. Jesus 24, hey, but it's a good start. Uh, I know uh, I'm hoping to get definitely uh, more episodes this year. So I'm, I'm looking good. I mean, I, I feel good. I think we've learned a lot. Over the last year, yeah, we've learned a lot about what to do and what not to do. Yeah, we're <laughs> uh, trial we're and error. Yeah, we're starting our new. Well, don't look at it just yet, but we're starting up our Instagram page, Instagrams, and we'll mm-hmm. be dropping that here pretty soon. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, right? And then uh, I, th- I think, uh, what else did we have going on? We have a lot of new stuff going on. Oh, uh, yep. We have uh, well, Twitter's there. Uh, it's it's there, but I think we're Instagram we're old school. We're old men, so we stick to the Facebook thing. But we're adapting yep. to the new world. So the new new, yeah, we got to get new. into it. Well, we've got a busy day today, but before we begin, we need to talk about um, cheers, man. I, you know, I missed you. I haven't talked to you in a minute. So you know, um, I want to do our cheers a little bit uh, differently. I mean, we normally cheers and we show what we're drinking. We're going to be changing up here a little bit soon. Uh, from yeah. this point on, uh, I kind of just had this thought that, you know, yes. we've had a we've had a rough couple of years where we lost a lot of friends, you know, and um, we didn't always get an opportunity to see our friends because of everything that's been going on with COVID. So yep. I just want to kind of take these times uh, when we're having our little show what we're drinking thing and show a salute to all those in our Nissan family who we love that we may not have here with us. So I just want to give a salute to all those folks out there. A little com pie. Yes. Wow. Let me, let me you up here. You ready? Pie. You ready for that one? You I ready? am. There we go. All right. Gun pie. For those and with us, we wish you good health as well. I am. Yeah. And let me see here. Orlando is asking what we are drinking tonight. I am drinking a Santa Fe Brewing uh, little Pilsner. It's a little mm. summer drink. Pinky out. Pinky mm. out. There mm. you go. Mm. In a blue moon glass. It's very, um, very confusing. 
very confusing messages I'm sending. So, but no, yeah, I just got back from um, that's right, Albuquerque. So did, yeah, did you bring that beer with you from? I brought. Canada I Bay? smuggled this beer. I don't tell you how I smuggled my beer, but I smuggled it um, all the way from uh, from Albuquerque. I don't know if it's an illegal thing, but I no. smuggled it nonetheless. It's part of the fun, you know. Mm-hmm. You know what Keister? <laughs> you know what Keister is, Mike? Easter? Keister. It's kind of like Easter. It's hiding things. <laughs> well, I know Ke- Keister. Yeah, uh, something from uh, behind your back. It's just... <laughs> hmm. Is that what you think? All right. I'm going to yeah. let uh I'm going to let our growing fan base that's jumping in on here live talk about the definition of keistering. All right. We'll talk about that here in just a few moments. But moving on. Yeah, I had a great time. Oh, yes. In, Tell me in, about in, uh, Albuquerque. What was going on? Yeah, I uh, made a drive up there to uh, drop off a metal building. That is going to be uh, part one of my garage system um, that I'm building out there. My Nissan Z hut, if you will, on the uh, side of uh, the Sandia mountains, which is weird. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was a drive out there. We went out there. We did a cruise out there. It was pretty cool. Man. We did last time. summer. It's actually, you've got a nice little uh, plot of land there, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad right. to hear that you're getting it built together. You know, I will put it this way. If you ever pass away, you got a free spot for me to bury you in. <laughs> I already gonna, have a tree. I have a tree picked out and everything. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold you to it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put that in my uh, last will and testament. I'm already digging say, the hole. It's weird. <laughs> That's what friends do. <laughs> That's, That's what friends what do. What are friends we pre, for? We pre-plan. All we right. We pre-plan each other's deaths. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend? Um, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, these last couple of weeks, even last couple of days and weeks have been pretty uh, busy. The main thing I've been doing, honestly, is house shopping. Looking at houses online, it's I'm I'm becoming an adult, man. I'm uh, mm-hmm. actually looking into having a place of my own. You know, have a kind of like like you, man. You have some land with my name on it, you know. And uh, oh, you have, I, you I, have I, a you have, you have some land, six foot hole. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll have a spot for you in my backyard too. Whenever that time comes. See, that's love. That's love. <laughs> <laughs> that comes from the heart, man. But. <laughs> I tell you though, man, shopping around for houses right now, the market's uh, as hot as it is. It is uh, nerve wracking for one, uh, and then also, you know, you put in an offer, and not all, not. I mean, nothing's really stuck just yet. So, I mean, it's uh, a game of wait and see, you know. So, well, uh, that's kind of been man. my highlight for the last couple of weeks, honestly. Keep at it. I'm going to send you positive vibes your Thank way, you. Thank and you. we'll make sure that you get that house. I want to say thank you to everybody else that's jumping on right now. I got Orlando. I got Amon. I've got Ion in the house. Jose yeah. De Leon. What's up, man? So yeah. kudos to everybody. Uh, we're going to continue on. We got a busy, busy schedule. We're probably going to run over a little bit. So let's see what we got going on. So, you know, first thing, there's been a lot of uh, news that's been kind of breaking out about the new Z. Um, and then you found something on the interwebs that's kind of blowing up right now, right? It is. It is. This is probably one of the most recent news that we have here. I'll go ahead and share my screen. Hit it. And uh, we'll go ahead and get, get this thing going. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Start getting me excited. Getting excited. <laughs> so Nissan's got a new commercial out. This just uh, was revealed four days ago. Um, we got Captain here. Marvel's pushing the Z, I heard. Brie mm-hmm. Larson, yeah, you know, she, I didn't. As I was reading this article, I, she signed a multi-year d- deal with Nissan to be, you know, the main one of the main spokespersons for Nissan. So this isn't the first, or this isn't the last time we're going to be seeing uh, Brie in these commercials, though. But uh, for those who saw it, this was actually a really, really uh, exciting commercial. It really had to do with Nissan, really dedicated Run in the background, to this baby. Re-branding. We can talk about it. Let's see yeah, people let's do that. see that. What's the point of going live? Hit we me did. with some Larson. <laughs> in our song. Really All right, let's take a look at this real quick. The name of this episode of this commercial is called. Uh, really? Can you hear it? No, I don't need to hear it, but it's awesome. No. Okay, so uh, right. this commercial is called Thrill, and essentially what Bree's talking about here in this commercial is that when driving used to be fun and exciting, we used to have cars uh, uh, on our wall on our poster walls and. Somehow things got uh, boring, and so this is where Nissan comes in to save the day as part of this new promotion, really trying to bring back excitement that Nissan brings to uh, not only for car enthusiasts ourselves, but as you see here, you've got some some off-road action happening. You've got 
multicolor, um, I think rogues and kicks. And then he's also got uh, highlighting uh, the yeah. EV uh, high. Well, oh, look at that. Yeah, they're covering it's the E-Class stuff. Love, man. The, yeah, they're covering the off-road stuff. I noticed they try to cover a lot in the um, in the commercial, which it, it depends what they're trying to do at the time, you know, as far as uh, getting the message out there. But, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for those. You know, the, the best commercials have always been those ones that are just um, specific model-based. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I It'll be exciting to see, like, just the one for the 400 comes out. But they probably got that in the bag, waiting to drop that here pretty soon. Oh, it's definitely but, coming. Yeah. You know that um, there's actually leaked um, photos of the new 400Z that just came out this week. We're not there. Yeah, We're yeah, not yeah. There yet. Huh? You're not there yet? I, I want to break down this video, man. There's a lot happening with this video that I think is really, really exciting. Yes. No, I'm going to learn. Dude, you have no idea the level of nerd I'm going to hit you with right, All right now. Hit me. Let's go. I okay. swear to God. And Joshua just chimed in too. Z31 say? was mentioned. We didn't even talk about it yet. I'll let you talk about it. Go on. Go on. <laughs> All right. So I just want to break this down just a little bit, this commercial. There's a lot of exciting things. And uh, let me know if you catch the things that I catch. All right. Oh. So obviously, uh, S30 Love, right to begin with. Uh, we've got um, driving down the line here. We got Brie Larson in a Charlie's Angel uh, haircut going on. She's. You see how she shifts that shift knob? Is that a is that normal? I don't even know. <laughs> She's going from park to drive. I didn't notice. <laughs> just that, kidding. That just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Come on. All right. uh, what uh, I was thinking me. about here was obviously they show the uh, the new Z, which is front and center about this commercial. Mm -hmm. And let me know if you catch this too. She put this thing. She, she takes off in second gear. And this is how level of nerd. Look at the shifting gear. Puts it in second and then takes off. You need to take off the second gear. I don't know about that. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's nerve. Hey, it's just, if you got time, yeah, you can start off. If you got time, you can do it for sure. Yeah, sure. But I know anyway, where to be. The next question I had for you, though, man, of course, we're highlighting this whole new line of Nissan vehicles that they've revealed these vehicles and facelifts of certain vehicles within the last uh, couple of months. Here, uh, we got some S uh, Z31 love. Yeah, I was going to ask you. I, mean, yep, I was going to ask you. This one, I was going to ask your opinion. I think I know. Yeah, what I saw is, that. No, you know, you know what's what funny is? is is Brent McLean caught it too, and I caught the same thing. And you know what I? I mean, it's pop-up headlights. That is definitely an S12. If I had to guess, that's what I was thinking. Yes, maybe I'm wrong. Was, that's what I, I literally wrote down. I saw S12 it too, and I was just here. like, it was one of those yeah. things. Like. I don't know, like, uh, what's that in Fight Club where he changes the reels and throws in something for a split second? And he's and he like, that that yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't tell you what they did in that movie. I, but <laughs> just... well, I, I really, I'm really enjoying, I mean, of all the vehicles that they show, you know, I guess they were trying to show the excitement of pop up headlights, perhaps. I know the S12 has a cult of its own, and I really pop like the fact that they snuck it in here. Pop up, pop up headlights. Bop, yeah, bop, yeah. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Wrong show, ready. But yeah, I got. It. <laughs> yeah, I know. Go ahead. It's a good show. It is a good show. We got more on that. That's but no, team I, team. I didn't want to point this out. I wanted to point out this part of the commercial. Shark nose two forty. God, it looked like an S twelve to me. Why am I so off? I think it's. I was thinking, could it be a pulsar? But well, that's what I mean. Yeah, I mean. Oh my God! I can't believe we don't know this. We're going to be crucified. I think it's an S. I think it's an S twelve more than anything. Well, it's I've got all this bong smoke around it, and I just can't figure it out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and it's like half. I mean, it could fall for it. Could it could almost be a freaking Toyota Corolla? It was like, Jesus Christ, an A eight six. I'm like, but a few of you guys online, of course, saying, uh, "What else we got here?" It's uh, a thirteen. It's a Pulsar. Uh, yeah, Pulsar. whatever. When we find uh, one we of the Nissan keyboard. guys, we're going to have to break their, we're going to have to hold their feet to the fire and figure out what that was. Oh, yeah. But overall, though, I just want to say that uh, I think Nissan did a really good job with this commercial. Uh, I think I did get excitement after watching this. Uh, like I said, uh, as I was saying earlier, um, Nissan, uh, the, the new next generation Z car was front and center. Uh, I don't really remember seeing that hat very often. I think the last commercial I saw with the, with the Z car, it was on the, on the side. It wasn't, you know, well, it wasn't leading the way like the way this commercial is too. So the, I think well, again, there's, yeah. uh -huh. there's new models that are popping up too. I mean, we got, uh, we, we're talking about new models that are coming up here in the rest of the episode today, but it's mm -hmm. just like, man, there's, I, I, you know, I think it's one of those maybe rotating calendars mm -hmm. of, of new models and what's hot 
and what's mm-hmm. going to be up in the front. I mean, uh, you know, after they launch the 400 and we're talking, I don't know, maybe this time next year, you're going to see maybe they move mm-hmm. up the, the Sentra in the front. You know, who knows? So Perhaps. I mean, obviously, at this point in time, I think uh, much of the hype – is waiting on the Z car right now. So I, I mean, this is good reason for him to have it with them, uh, you know, right here in the front and the center here. Um, right. I did, I did also see, uh, again, Go you on. got the Aria uh, being driven I around. Saw it, so. I saw it, I saw it. so Paolo says I'm right. And if Paolo says I'm right, it's a 200 SX, then I must be right. So <laughs> there's like 400 people above him saying, no, it's an S13. It's a shark nose too far. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm right with the 200 SX, but I could be wrong. But True, true. But uh, just to summarize, though, I really think that, you know, the title of this commercial being Thrill, it delivers on its premise. I think it was a very exciting uh, commercial. And uh, I think we'll be seeing it here for the next couple of uh, weeks and months here. Definitely until uh, the next uh, the, the Z is officially debuted. And it's probably going to have its own commercial, which I'm excited to see as well. Uh, I really see some high some uh, high volume um, with this first year of the, uh, of the next Z car too. So, Speaking of that, they're already leaking. Yes, they care. are. Yes, they but, are. But uh, the photos are starting to leak from uh, test footage and stuff that's out there. Uh, hold, please. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know if you saw this yet. There you go. Hey. Ah, so yeah. this was Super Spy photos, uh, courtesy yeah. or stolen by car buzz and watermarked. We'll figure it out what it is later. <laughs> But here it is. I guess you see it in silver. But ooh, mm-hmm. what do you think? That blue, I I, I think that's. I think they did that intentionally, just because they know nobody's gonna like you do that with concept cars or mules or you know cars that aren't gonna make it to the floor. They're just trying things out. Maybe the. The, the supplier of those seats just made the design for some scrap some scrap material. <laughs> like they, uh, no one buys this color. Go ahead, let's just make samples for them. You know, with this no color, way. I don't know. For that one, for that one wrapper, that one uh, crazy oil tycoon from blah blah blah. So, all right. Yeah. Yeah. You sure you don't have snake skin? Yeah. Well, the best I can do is neon blue. Snake, right. snake skin. Yeah. That's so here it the is. picture I like right there. Yes. Yeah. That, so these tubular, you notice what I've I, I've been checking out. These tubular, uh, we'll call it the uh, the grill marks in the front. Um, okay. I, I've noticed that they don't go the full length of the grill. You know, it. Um, I know it kind of inverts a little bit, uh, or it it just basically cuts off after that. That's a little interesting. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Hmm. I, don't know. I see that right now. Yeah, I see what you it mean. It seems like uh, there's a the purpose, bottom there. Right? Yeah, those so. those little uh, ovals are much more elongated and much darker too. So yeah, exactly. I don't know. Just I I've been noticing like little things as I go on. Yeah, uh, you got the little duck bill tail, the little uh, BMW little uh, tail fin in the back. <laughs> well, I think that's how you're going to know whether it's a sport model or not. Similar to how the 370 is, yeah. there. You know, I can literally, you know, people who know can literally see any 370 on the road and know right away whether or not it's a base model or a sport model and one of the main indicators is the spoiler uh the next one would, would be brakes even you know you've always got the the acabonos popping out from behind the wheels and that you know it's a sport model you yep, know so yep. that spoiler is gonna be just like that it's subtle but i like it wow these wheels are growing on me more and more well here's the original the designs photo. with the, the original with the original the, yeah. with the katana her little uh, sword right there. Yeah. Uh, katana there, yeah. Yep, yep. Well, we've seen all this before, but yeah, just interesting. Yep. But that Did blue, you, that blue interior, that, that blue. No, it's blue. Uh, you know, if they didn't make it like that, it's going to be kind of similar to the blue interiors on the 300ZX. Like, for those who buy it and maintain it, 20, 30 years down the line, it might be worth more. But It's going to be, be hen's teeth. It's going to be like uh, the rarest of the rare. But so. you gotta you gotta endure thirty years of an eyesore, in my opinion. <laughs> and guys are like, "But why did he buy the blue?" You gotta thirty years of that, and then all of a sudden they're gonna be like, "Oh, he's a, you know, he's a it's connoisseur." The, the, I'm like, he's playing the long game, is what he's playing. He's playing he the long game <laughs> of bad interior roulette. Okay, gotcha. 
Yeah, he's like, this is this is chess, not checkers, man. We're gonna go ahead and get, get that get that really rare blue, man. And <laughs> oh no, but I was just like, damn, blue, now, really, did, son. Now, yeah, part of that reveal, though, did you notice the MSRP, the MSRP leak, and even the uh, the trim options leak on that? I uh, I did notice the MSRP, but oh, man, you and I both know we've looked at hundreds of posts about the 400z and it's just there's information there and then there's not information there and then it's conflicting and it's just like i don't know uh, you think that's the real msrp I, for for the, the the frugal part of me i hope it is but <laughs> yes All no, right. real- the frugal person in you wants the msrp to be what i well th- they show it here as 34 and 95 for the base model if they did that i i almost if they did this pricing I think that it would be very similar to what even the uh, C8 Corvette is because it's considered the supercar when it was sixty thousand uh, dollars initially. Even right now, though, because the demand is so high, you know, there's a huge dealer markup right now. But uh, mm-hmm. the initial advertisement was that car was sixty thousand dollars. Now, getting into the Z, though, I mean, you're getting uh, they're saying uh, four hundred horsepower. We know it's that the engine that they're going to use. It's it's plenty capable. Um, now, base model thirty five thousand dollars, pretty good deal. And they're looking at trim options being about an extra five or ten thousand dollars, depending on which options you pick. And uh, even at forty five thousand dollars for the top of the line model, that's it's pretty good for the power wise. Because if you look at you know what everybody thinks is a uh, Nissan's main competitor, the Supra, forty five thousand dollars doesn't get you a lot from the Supra right now either. Uh, no, you don't. And now, well, so, and and you know it's coming in standard, so it's like, hey, yeah. I already know I'm getting a, a real sports car. So, hey, absolutely. I'm actually looking at the Toyota site right now. The four cylinder Supra, the MSRP oh, is forty three thousand. Why? Uh, that just sounds wrong when you say it. I mean, just like four yeah. cylinder Supra. Oh, God. Yeah, for forty three thousand dollars for a four cylinder. <laughs> Meanwhile, if Nissan delivers on this. Uh, <sighs> What's been uh, this rumor here is that they are going to blow Supra out of the water, and I really hope they do. Uh, this is this is Nissan's like, time again. Part of that whole Nissan, the new Nissan. If you really want to turn some heads, this is what you do for sure. Yeah, I mean a four hundred, I don't know, four cylinder Supra, just like a catch up on sushi. Just stop, just stop. <laughs> catch up on stop sushi. It. Oh, just, <laughs> well, it know. is BMW. Someone, of course, we got some fans here saying Orlando. It's obviously a BMW skin, so it'd be like sauerkraut on sushi, maybe you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's we can work on kicking sand into BMW and uh, and uh, Toyota's eyes later on. But yeah, we got more uh, news to go over. Speaking of the more Z news, um, mm-hmm. we, we talked about that Peter Brock Z. I think that thing finally sold, didn't it? It did. It did. So in the last uh, episode that we had, I wanted to be sure and give you guys a follow up on what this car actually bid for. Uh, The last time I checked in our episode, I believe the bid was at thirty five thousand. I think that was the last number that I had seen. So I'll share my screen. This was the results. Uh, This was off of bringatrailer.com. It sold for forty six thousand dollars and it was I believe two days after our last uh, episode. And let's see here, the results. Uh, we do have a winner. I did catch on Facebook the winner. He actually picked up the car from the BRE facility in uh, Nevada. You better. And, you better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so check us out, though. Uh, again, congrats to uh, Bo. Uh, we'll just give him that. Uh, picking up the Signature Series BRE from his bid, we've got the man himself, Peter Brock, signing the dash just before handing the car off, which is, I think is a classy touch. So yep, yep. given a huge, uh, follow up to, uh, that bid, uh, I wonder how many bids there were. I, I want to say there was a number, but 19 bids. And, uh, I, I would imagine them being fairly competitive from them to have started again. The last time I checked was 35. So it jumped an extra $11,000 within two days, uh, for that, uh, you know, 50th anniversary and also being um, 166 miles. It's a brand new car. And I'm again, just, just, ha- just sat in the showroom. That's yeah. it. But again, having been formally owned by the man himself, I, I really uh, 
I think we'll see this car in future Z cons and there's and nowhere to go but up on the value on that thing. Yes, yes, to a the degree. value's not so, going down. Pending so. anything drastic, which of course I hope doesn't happen at all. Let's not go there. Go. Yes. We're gonna put bad mojo out there. Don't put that bad evil out in the world. <laughs> so good point. Good point. So again, uh Props to Bo for his uh, his winning bid, and hopefully we'll see you at a at a Z convention uh, one of these days. Now we got new news to go over. Um, so you found this article: uh, Infinity New Chief lays out grand plan to revive the brand. Sales have dropped fifty percent since two thousand seventeen. Tell us more about that, Mike. You gonna let me talk about it? All right. Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> I was just trying to give you an intro. That was called a warm intro. It was a a warm intro and a pat. Yeah, go. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So anyway, this article actually came from Bloomberg. Uh, It was uh, through Yahoo News that it was kind of relayed. Hmm. Infinity's chief does lay out a plan. Uh, Since 2017, Nissan, uh, sorry, Infinity sales have dropped 50%. That is a huge drop. It's not nothing to be proud of, but there is a plan to have a revival, similar to how Nissan was feeling even two years ago. Now it's in, Infinity's turn to turn a new leaf and show uh, a resurgence. So this is what the the article had to be about. The uh, CEO, his name is Payman uh, Kargar. He was appointed June 2020. We uh, like we said, we did have that uh, the experience that declined 50 percent. He said that uh, he, the CEO, he points out a few shortcomings that Infinity has, and it really it gives you a good idea of where he's going with his plan. And I'll, I'll point out uh, at least two points. The first thing he says, he goes, Infinity is not giving the maximum of its potential. Uh, he goes, we didn't bring enough new products to the customers. So I think that coming forward, what you can see as part of this plan is that you're going to see New Infinity product. That's one of the main features of the of the plan, which I'm excited to see. Infinity just released the QX55. Yeah. And I think that, that was I think what you'll see at the beginning of this of this new uh, rebranding that Infinity uh, is uh, bringing out. Wow. And yeah. And keep in mind we just killed off the black. You remember that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we got a sin. A sin, Michael. <laughs> a sin. It's a sin. It's a sin. <laughs> <laughs> but we still got the Reds out there. You know, uh, Brent uh, McLean brought up a, a question. He goes, "Is the IPL line coming back?" You know, for all I, I think we talked about this like four or five episodes back, Mike, where we talked about the IPL mm-hmm. line and what was happening in it. It was kind of just kind of quiet. But I think for the most part, it's kind of it's kind of We'll say it's on the back burner. And this is nothing new. Remember how Nismo was kind of put on the back burner for a number of years when the first Z came out. Remember there was like no new Nissan products that were really dropping out after right. the, the last push that they had in the 2005, seven, eight, nine. Cause after nine was when it just kind of the Nismo stuff just dropped off and they were just making thermoses. And <laughs> <laughs> remember? I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm joking. Yeah. You know, it was they, they yes, were embroidering, yes. bro, embroidering carpet, making thermoses. You know, mm-hmm. maybe they were making one air filter. It was just kind of like, damn, man, come on, bring that Nismo line back. But sorry. and getting back to what you're saying about the IPL, the IPL line, and really with any type of uh, special edition or a performance line like that, you really need to have an executive in the team that that really. Fu- is the uh, the mama bird to that program? You have to foster it. You have to shelter it. <laughs> you got to keep it away from other executives who want to ax it. And to do that, you actually got to stay around long enough to really let it grow. And I think what we mentioned with other, just like how you mentioned with the Black Edition, one of the reasons why it didn't have a, uh, the reason why it didn't go past the concept phase is because the executive who. It was his uh, brainchild. It was his, yeah. He yeah, they, he left. So yeah, yeah. So he left the nest. Yell. He left the nest. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, he just flew. I'm really enjoying your your sound effects uh, today. <laughs> well, I'm just I'm working with what I got. Right? It's that budget, man. We're it's the budget. budget. <laughs> I'm that Michael Winslow from Police Academy until we get a budget for a soundboard. High Tower. Yeah. No, that's High Tower is a really big one. 
The yeah. uh, Michael Winslow was the guy who made all the noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, that guy was awesome. That's, that's all right, move on. Jeez, can't believe you get, don't know Michael Winslow is from Police Academy. I'm sorry, man. I was I wasn't a uh, uh, moving back to your yeah, back yeah, to your yeah. article. Getting Didn't mean to the article. I track. One of the other comments that were made was that Infinity has become lately might be considered. Uh, he goes. Um, it's kind of become a price brand as opposed to a brand you might lust after. He goes, infinity needs to be a, a premium luxury brand. Ideas of value and price typically aren't associated with those type of ideas. So one of the things that I would think as a, as one of these statements is, you know, we might see prices also in, on the infinity line go up. So not only are you getting new products, I mean, that takes a lot of R and D, which costs money, uh, I see that happening, but also uh, the price MSRP of Infinities might also go up as well. So just they kind of go hand in hand. So these being some of the uh, results from a, a plan of up, an upcoming plan, uh, that, that could be the case. Well, I could also understand that they finally have a clear depiction of what they want to do, and they're definitely making a change. So change is, you know, sometimes not necessarily good, but in this case... I think it's possibly good. I think it's actually uh, they're moving with what you and I would want to see, you know, more excitement. So, you know, I'll take that because just, you know, if you're just yes. trying to hit the numbers and you're pushing out the rogues and the, and the, I mean, the fifties and the sixties, just, it's like, okay, man, I get it. But give, uh, you know, mix it up a little bit, put some spice in it, you know, sprinkle some, some salt on that, you know? Yeah. And, I, oh. and just to kind of give you an idea too, I, I really see that you know they've got they've got their plans ahead, and um, even their nearest competitor, not their nearest competitor, one of their main competitors, which would be Lexus, sold just oh just under two hundred thousand more units than Infinity did last year. Mm. So that's going to be there is a lot of opportunity that that Infinity can make of this of this rebranding. So and, and that's their direct competition is is the. Yeah. Is the luxury line of Toyota, which is Lexus. So yeah, it makes complete sense. Yep. So, well, some good news. There has been some new products that have come out, um, not necessarily on the Infinity side, but on the Nissan side. Mm -hmm. um, so there has been um, they dropped out the uh, the Nissan uh, the 2022 um, Patrol, the Nismo Patrol. It is mm -hmm. out, man. Nismo edition. The Nismo edition. I got something here for you. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Tell me if you can see that. Boom, boom, boom. Is that it? So yep. it looks pretty nice. I'm just saying. I, I'm really digging, though. I mean, the the body language of the Nismo, that red, fine lip, uh, side skirts even. Uh, it's got a facelift. It looks mean. It's I'm 22, I'm son. Rolling on the dubs. 22s. Damn. And it's got a little red diffuser. They call it an accent. <laughs> and um, the front grill swap for a little more, what do they call it? A more intimidating honeycomb. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, I like that. It, it, it does have uh, some, uh, uh, it, it looks edgy, in my edgy, opinion. Edgy, yeah. And I like the fact they're finally using the Nismo badge a lot more extensively. You know, like like with the 350Z, you got the Zorro, the Z logo everywhere, right? Z -Z, yeah. Z -Z. Fender, you open the door. Z -Z. is on the grills. Z -Z. And it was just like, okay, cool. But like on this kind of stuff, I want to see that Nismo badge on stuff. I think that's super cool, man. And I like the fact that you're seeing it in a few more spots than you did before. So it's pretty cool. Well, it's true because, you know, Nismo, of course, we, we saw on the Z car and Skyline and it you saw it branch out and it's – the truck and SUV market has been on fire the last decade, so it seems natural that to, to get this uh, treatment on the on the on the the patrol, mm -hmm. uh, it just makes sense. I think it's a, a sign of things to come. All right. You know? So the uh, patrol is going to be rocking the 5.6 V8 row, row, with 428 horsepower and 413 on the Turks. So yeah, with the seven-speed auto. They call it an auto box, but mm -hmm. we're called it. It's called an auto. It is what it is, right? Auto. The, so, and to keep the body in check, full pelt, it's sitting on Bill Steens. It's riding on the Bill Steens. That's some good suspension brand too. That's a, like that's a good Steen. partnership. I like that. 
Oh, uh, Nissan did uh, the original like Nismo Frontiers on Bilstein's as well. So, you know, from mm -hmm. my perspective, I mean, it's a damn good shock. They've been in the business for a minute. All right, let's go to interior. Exterior, yeah. I like it. It's pretty aggressive. Um, liking that rear bumper and that uh, that little um, what's the term they call it over the rear glass? Um, I guess it would be a spoiler, a wing. Uh, a duck. I always think of like. It's not I a duck, bill. duck bill, but it's, I, it's not the duck bill. It, but. It's called a spoiler, a win, window spoiler. Oh, God, a window we spoiler. should know these things. We're, we're, we we're getting better be. people. We're getting better we're people. Be yeah, we're not. We're, we're falling down a slow, <laughs> steep fall. So uh, inside, we're rocking red interior stitching. And mm -hmm. on the steering wheel, you get carbon fibre. So that's kind of nice. And it's got the, uh, the little am I going straight line on the steering wheel that uh, you need when you're autocrossing. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah. uh, which way is up? Which way is up? Yep. They always yeah. do that. It's very important. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know. I liked it. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely aggressive. Um, I'm curious what it's going to sit at when everything's said and done. So, yeah. MS, yeah. The MSRP was not mentioned, was it? Nah, it's a little too early not for that it. right now. They're probably going to test the waters and we'll go from there. So Now, and to say this too, this is not in the U.S. And we hope not yet. Because we really want it to be. Well, this it's is the Armada. The patrol. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yes, it's, it's the, Armada. the Armada. Come on. This, Come on. this article was about the, the patrol currently in the Middle East. But if we do get it here in the States, it would be packaged as an Armada. An Armada. Nismo Armada? Nismo? Yeah. Nismo Armada, I'd rock it. Why not? Right? Sure. I, I do like it. Armada. From online, too, we've got a patrol looks beast from Jose. Yes, uh, Justin said beast. here, yeah, Arab Emirates market only at the moment. It is, but like we're saying, hopefully it finds its way to the U.S. shores. I think that, uh, <clears throat> again, how obviously the U.S. they love their trucks. They love the bigger the better. It seems like the patrol is right up the alley. So I think if we do uh, uh, soon enough, I really hope to see it. Yep. So we got to go into a new. Um, I guess a feature that we're going to start having here on the episode where we're going to do a feature ride of, uh, of the episode. So, um, yeah. you know, me and Mike have been talking about it. It could be um, friends of ours, cars that we thought were pretty remarkable cars that are out there in the ether that are just blowing minds. So um, th of this one, we actually decided to do our first one on uh, the new Chris Forsberg Altima, which is insane. If you haven't seen it, uh, we're going to throw a quick little, um, Oh, Mike already has it ready. I got you uh, set up, man. Don't you worry about well, me. I was set up. Yeah. Oh, that's called a warm handoff. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Hit it. I'll run it in the background. Go for okay. it. Rocking 1200 horsepower with this, with the GTR motor, the new one. And, mm -hmm. uh, they're saying it's going to be capable of, um, up to 2,000 horsepower? I don't know. That's what they were talking about at the, the recent track day that they had this thing on. Oh, you pulled the donut media video. Well, that's 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 probably the most uh, exciting video to run in the background. They did, obviously, the donut media guy did have a, a feature on this. But uh, you just ran in the course Forsberg at Circuit of the Americas, I, right? Yeah, was at, well, I saw battle. him at Super Super Lap Battle, and I just... Told him, hey, hey, Chris, I just want to tell you I'm a big fan of yours and just uh, yeah, thank you for uh, for doing all the cool stuff with Nissan. And, uh, he was like, well, he's a busy guy, too, because on top of all this, he's helping out uh, uh, Brian Heikotter with his, uh, yeah, with his yeah, ride. You know, that's busy man for, doing a lot for Nissan. Like, props out yeah, to, he, to He has a lot of cool cars, man. He has a right-hand drive patrol. They just bought a, um, um, not that I. Not that I stalk the guy or anything, but uh, they just bought a uh, Nissan flatbed um, that is really super rare. I don't know what his deal is, but he's been buying like these weird, like right-hand drive, super rare Nissans. Um, I don't know where the hell he's getting all this stuff, but it's it, it, he's just buying cool car after cool car after cool car. And this is just another testament to it. This thing's a beast. He mentioned this car uh, when we were kind of shooting the breeze at Super Lap Battle. But uh, they call it a drift taxi. So uh, it actually seats two in the front, and then it seats two in the back. And then they yep. went even double baller on that. They put um, all these speed controls in the rear. So as the people were mm. getting whipped around, ah, they could see how fast they're going. Oh, my God. Yeah, and yeah. I, I was, yeah, and the, the seats are all done. It, it, it's just a well-done vehicle all around. 
Oh my God! Drop your video, Jesus Christ! No, okay. No, yeah. I do have one. Now, this is not the first time that Chris Forsberg has <clears throat> had um, his own party uh, drift sedan. I actually uh, saw him. He was at Grid Life, I think, two years ago. This is out at Road Atlanta. Hey, give me the controls. Come on now. You want the controls? Oh, uh, yeah, I want the controls. I want the steering wheel. Give it to me. No, right, hold on. Where are you? Are you there? Where are you at? <laughs> you are the worst. I can't give you my screen, so you have to. I want you to give me my screen. That's Boom. you? Yes, that's me. There you go. There you go. Go ahead. There you go. So he's there. He's talking about those are the controls are actually set up for the back. But, yeah, they're saying that they're going to try to push for um, a 2,000 on this thing, which is – it's basically just a drift beast. I mean, but look at it right there. Woo! It's set up with a big old massive intercooler. Um, it's all tubular all the way through, obviously. Um, I mean, it's just a beast, man. This thing's insane. So – well, obviously not stock. It's 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 the uh, <laughs> it's the GTR uh, drivetrain, I believe. Is yeah, that... they moved it and they moved the whole assembly back um, so they could get uh, uh, their their layout and their good balance. Their and they want. I like what he mentioned in the article, which was this is not made for competition. This is not even made to spec to compete. It's for events like Grid Life or other drift events where. Drifting is such a fun thing. You want to include your as many friends as you can to be in on the action. Well, what better way to do that with a sedan? You know, you can. I think uh, that car you just mentioned had four seats, so you've got. You know, this you include. A, your yeah, this will be a showstopper. I mean, it's one of those things like all eyes on me kind of scenario. So, I just love the way they set the car up. I mean, it. You know, uh, as far as the uh, the whole look of the car, the way they set it up. I mean, it's just. It's well done. AEM came through and did a lot of stuff. BC Racing did it. All the suspension is just, you know, it's one-off stuff all the way through. Yeah, the yeah. Part. So I'm pretty very sure it's cool. all this voodoo racing stuff. But, um, but yeah, very cool. Well, I mean, look at it just right there. It's just, come on. I mean, I, I, I see the Nissan and Nismo badging. I, obviously, I would, I would assume Nissan is, uh, they had their hand on this, some sort of sponsorship to get this thing developed. You know, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm always curious. I mean, I meant to talk to him about that and how that relationship works out and, um, you know, what they what they kind of slide him in an effort to, to kind of keep up the brand. But who knows? You know, maybe he's just a loyalist. It, I'll have to next time I run into him or we get a chance to kind of chat with him, maybe we'll uh, we'll uh, chew his ear a little bit more about that. <laughs> so awesome, man. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, a very cool car. This is our feature of the week. And like I said, I just wanted to throw kudos out to it because just the amount of work that went into this. And um, and it was just something different. Um, I, I really was impressed by it overall. So I think we'll see it at a number of events coming forward. Now that it's been uh, revealed, ultimately, now you're going to start seeing it at events. People are going to be begging for rides just to have a chance to be a part of it. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure he'll deliver. I mean, there's going to be a line. I've seen it before at drift events. Of course, you People pay, you know, a couple bucks that to get like in. Get Glen, in the right? Is that where I go, Walking Glen? Oh, I would say somewhere. I would say Willow Springs first, because I mean, if he's out in SoCal, oh, you, know, you know, I'm so wrong. You're at Willow Springs. Watkins, yeah, that's, that's right. more East Coast. Yeah, Watkins yeah, yeah. is all East Coast. I don't know why I thought that. It looks like <laughs> a desert to me. Now, this isn't yeah. the first time that Chris Forsberg has been doing working out on a uh, on a Nissan sedan, doing some drifting. I want to share a video. Oh. That he had done about two years ago in Road Atlanta, a uh, right. hell of a drive. This guy, I was actually there when he did this, and props to him and driving that? skills. Check us out. He's doing a drift at 150 miles an hour. Oh yeah. Now again, you can't see the video though, but literally coming down. I think that's turn 10A, 10B at. Look at that boom! Sideways getting into uh, corners there. Like a pro, like he as he is. <laughs> I believe this is a uh, it's the M forty five or N fifty six. It's definitely V eight sedan. You see that tachometer hitting six thousand, seven thousand RPMs. This is around coming around the last corner of Road Atlanta. Over the, I'm standing in those stairwell right there. <laughs> this Jesus. Is, and if you could hear it again, this is on YouTube though. But the car is just an absolute beast. It sounds amazing. This? This, this is at Road Atlanta. I know, but it was Grid Life. Okay, Grid Life. Okay. Yep. 
Yep, yep. Okay. And I think even near the end, uh, they had slowed down. Uh, of course, they just ripped the tires out. I think uh, near the end, didn't they're he go cooling to off. And he was like, and he was he was ripping up uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, the tail of the dragon recently. Remember that? Didn't we see him at Z I days? Do. And he was just doing Chris a bunch Forsman of crazy stuff. Z days. He actually brought his uh, drift spec three hundred and seventy Z and brought it. And he actually drifted at the resort. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so somebody yeah, sent me a yeah. live video of that, and I was like, "Get out of town!" So this is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Props to Chris Worldwide. He's definitely doing yeah. a lot for the brand, bringing excitement as always from the enthusiast uh, and yeah. drift uh, scenes. So uh, yeah. let's keep it going. Uh, we oh, got yeah, a lot more to cover. We got to talk about uh, motorsports, right? Yep, you're right. Next thing, next up here, we had motorsports updates. It's my turn, isn't it? It is your turn, but I'll uh, go ahead and give you what is known as a warm setup. <laughs> <laughs> so on All this, right. up, uh, but I did ah. want to give you some news. Obviously, you're going to talk about EDOMs, but the good thing, uh, just a little side notes, that the Nissan uh, EDAMs uh, page actually just went up uh, last day or so. I um, wanted to give people an opportunity to kind of check that out. If you get an opportunity, um, you can go to the website and check it out. It is Rod Her. Got it. Yeah, I do got it up. And it's actually there doing it a damn good job with it. You can check that out at NissanEDams.com. And this basically has all the information about the team, upcoming races, um, where they are in the championship, uh, who they're partnering with, and how to contact them. Um, but again, uh, they, uh, they've done a great job. Honestly, I, I've been really impressed with the way they're PRing everything and they're taking such a lead in that, uh, in that series. So. Absolutely. Uh, this is the seventh year that formula E has been in existence. And I believe this is Nissan's third or fourth year. I believe it's their fourth year that they've been as, as part of the, uh, you know, formula E league and, I believe they've just extended their contract to be in competition as a constructor until 2026. So sense. you'll, yeah. you're going to see them uh, much more often or j just as often in the coming years. And you'll see us reporting on it because that's what we do. This is all about Nissan and their, their, their involvement in motorsports. Yeah. Uh, so I can go ahead and recap uh, what's happening here in this 21, 2021 yeah, uh, do it. Season. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to share my screen here. Rounds three and four happening in Rome are actually happening this weekend. Similar to rounds one and two, it's two races back to back. And uh, again, we are three days away, cheek as you can see cheek. here online. What's that? Back to back, cheek to cheek. Back to back, mm. cheek to cheek. <laughs> Let's do this. Nissan, now in the 2021 season, again, this is only round three and four. We're just getting started. Nissan is currently uh, in eighth place as a constructor. Now, partly because, because of, uh, that is due typically to Sebastian Buemi. He uh, crashed out in round two, was not able to secure any points. However, round one, he was able to, as well as uh, Oliver Rowland, he was able to get points in, in the uh, round two. So get into round threes and four is happening this weekend. The uh, where you can catch it. Let me see what we got here. Of course, there is the track itself. You've got 19 turns, 3.3 kilometers. It's happening here. Let me see what we got here. The best way that you can catch this is through CBS Sports Network. So I would say check your local listings through the CBS Network. To get mm -hmm. your hands on it, and that is the the best way to watch. Now you also have, if it will load. Well, we also throw it up on the page too, as well. So keep yes. on our Facebook page on the Nis on the Nissan Nerd Podcast. Um, occasionally, when we we know that one's coming up, uh, we'll a lot of times we'll throw up the live version of it so you can check it out and just kind of occasionally get caught up to speed. Uh, we'll try to throw those up as we find those, or if we're watching those, uh, we'll throw it up live and we'll go from there. Maybe we need to do a Absolutely. watch party one of these days. Yeah, now it's fairly early that it's happening here too because uh, I was able to catch rounds one and two. Uh, just to give this an example here, round three is happening Saturday, this Saturday, at 9.30 in the morning Eastern. So it's 8.30 uh, 
for for me and you, Miles. Mm. Uh, it's an early one. You got to get up. No one likes. Uh, not everybody likes getting up early on a Saturday. But if you want to catch the, uh, uh, He's calling formula, are you calling me lazy? I'm calling myself lazy. I know that oh, much. God. You know how hard it is. Yeah, it's it's hard to get up for me. But uh, <laughs> but I did catch it. I caught it in round two. Of I, I watched all of it. And I do intend to watch round three live. Uh, I was able to catch it through Hulu uh, last time. So for those who have Hulu, check your listings on that as well. Uh, it might be hit and miss, but at the very least, your CBS Sports Network will have it for you. But I am excited. Nissan placed second last year. Now they're in eighth right now, but that is we're still so early into the season. So there is tons of time to to work our way back up and uh, they've been doing really, really good. And I look forward to seeing them. Yep. Very good. Uh, Formula E. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now you have the next one. This is my warm pitch to you here, man. Your, your, your intro <laughs> Nissan's other involvement in motorsports involves super GT. And I believe you've got the checkup on, uh, on that one. Don't you? <laughs> yeah. So we've got uh, super GTs coming up the way here pretty soon. Uh, let's see here. We've got the schedule just happening here pretty soon. Let's see here. So 2020 was a decent year um, for Nissan. Uh, they actually did really good in the 300 series, respectable in the 500 series. You know that uh, the college team actually ended up coming in first for last year with the, with the, um, with the Super GT series. This year, um, it's actually kicking off just this upcoming weekend. Uh, April 10th and 11th will be the first race out in Ohiyama uh, International Circuit. Um, we will obviously try to post a live feed of that, um, but you definitely want to check those out. You can find them through YouTube. They show the entire race. Hopefully you can get lucky enough to find it in English. Sometimes it's Japanese. <laughs> and you just got to deal with it. The only one that will ever understand what's happening from that point will be Joshua Matheson, who's the only guy I know who speaks Japanese. So kudos to him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for everybody else, we'll just have to ask Josh what they're asking, what they're saying. But just kidding. But uh, no, it's a great, uh, it's a great series. A lot of great coverage. To me, it's one of the most amazing uh, racing series that unfortunately we just won't see here in the United States again. But again, uh, you can catch the first round of this happening in Okayama International Circuit, April 10th and 11th. Second round will be at Fuji, May Fuji. 3rd and 4th. And then we've got a few more races after that. Um, this is going to be um, quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of races that are coming up this time around. So we've got eight races total um, to uh, to to make it all uh, make it all happen. A lot of uh, com uh, competition. It seemed like Nissan changed out from the 300 series. Uh, a lot. It seemed like last year they put all their more eggs in the 300 basket than the 500. It seemed like this year it's a little more balanced. So you're, you're seeing a lot more involvement in the 500 series okay. um, with Nissan, and then uh, but they still have a, a very reputable or s uh, still a, a very strong footprint in the 300. Uh, we've got the Nissan in the 300 series. We've got the GTR Nismo GT3s, um, which is an amazing um, beast. If you've ever checked that out, um, those are, I, I really think they're just going to kind of clean up this year. You've got, um, teams like condo racing that are coming out. You've got Nils racing. Um, some people are new to us. Tomai is going to uh, be out there this year, uh, with their, one of their sponsored vehicles. Um, Gainer as well. They're going to be in the 300 series in the 500 series. Uh, you've got Nismo themselves. You've got Condo with the 500 series, um, and then we've also got the uh, the Team Impul is going to be out there. Uh, that's NDD. your favorite, isn't it? Uh, it is. Calsonic uh, Impul. I don't play favorites, but I have favorites. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully they can uh, they can take uh, first this year. Last year they ended up losing it in the 500 series to the NSX team. Um, but I think it was auto box that took it last year, but, um, again, uh, best of luck to all those teams. Watch all those, uh, try to watch those series, try to support those series. Um, again, uh, you can check them out through the, um, um, through all the uh, live footage. Again, we will try to put that up on the Nissan nerd podcast so you can check it out or at least try to stay up to speed and up to, and catch up on what's happening with the series as we move forward throughout the year. So awesome, man. Awesome. All right. That's one thing too. I do need to get more into Super GT myself. Uh, again, I've been so it's caught amazing, up. It's amazing, man. Like it's the NASCAR Japan. 
So <laughs> that's Car is, Japan. Yeah. I like that. I like that. All right. And do you want a warm transfer or should I just let you uh, do what you got to do? Uh, no, I can go to this next one here. Uh, just I'm to a follow big boy. Up, I can I can go people by <laughs> myself. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, mom, look at this. And uh, here I go. Oh, you got it on the walls. All right, go on. <laughs> uh, the last up on our motorsports update, we do have just a quick reminder that the Nissan Sentra Cup is definitely in the back of our mind. We've been thinking about it uh, for the 2021 season, not starting just yet. It's happening May the first race, races one and two are happening May 21st to the 23rd. This is a Canadian series, but that's not going to stop us from watching it, right, Miles? Correct. So we go. <laughs> <laughs> we are, yeah, we can't get the passports. You can't get out of the country with that ankle monitor, so I guess we're just going to have to check it out. Uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Yeah, virtual. Right? Yeah. But I, I feel like there's going to be coverage on it because I feel like it's it's getting a lot of publicity. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. I hope, I hope noticed- we're able to check it out. I think you're right, though. The promotion on it has been much more. You know, you, you see the quality of uh, the the campaign that they've had behind it this year. It, it's on my radar. It looks really, really impressive. So yeah. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, again, this, we're still over a month away, so it is on our radar. As we continue with these episodes, we will uh, be sure to include what happens with the Nissan Sentra Cup, uh, aka the Micra Cup, out of Canada. Yeah. So uh, from here, that con- concludes all our motorsports updates that we're going to cover. Um, I did want to talk about a few things that you should be checking out. Ooh. So um, sometimes we have products. Sometimes we have stuff that's happening in the community. Sometimes just funny stuff that's going around. But I wanted to talk about a product that I used here just this week. This is not one of our sponsors, but <laughs> I did use them. So I figured I would give them a few minutes of free publicity. Very, very cool stuff. Um, this is a um, yeah free publicity to them, but you know if it works, it helps out all my uh, Nissan and Infinity Datsun brothers and sisters that are out there that need uh, yeah. to keep those cars on the road. So this is a product that I've been using for a minute. Um, it's called Solution Finish, and basically it's like a trim restore. Now we've all tried to do the uh, armor all on the uh, on the plastic external pieces of our vehicles, cowls. Uh, truck bed trims, um, you know, truck uh, bumper stuppers, you know, you're trying to get that stuff to not gray. Well, guess what? The armor all stuff actually truly does gray that product out. It sucks. Uh, it actually dries that product out. Now, the solution finish is a little different. I've used a lot of this kind of stuff. I've been searching for stuff with Teflon for years, and I've kind of been a nerd about it for a while. But um, this product I've been using, it's really cheap, it's really cost effective, and you can pretty much buy it on Amazon or wherever you want to get it from. I found it through Amazon now that it's being offered through it, but it's called Solution Finish Black Plastic and uh, Vinyl Repair. So you basically just put it on a rag, and then you apply it to your, uh, to your black exterior plastic piece, and it actually yep. penetrates into the plastic and restores it. Um, so it looks like brand new. I mean, I've had pieces that I thought were just goners that I had in the attic and I brought them and I put plastic, uh, this plastic restore on them. We're talking dots and stuff, which the plastic in dots and stuff is notoriously just, I'm going to say what it is. Nobody hate on me, but it's notoriously crappy plastic, but it was the seventies, <laughs> right? It was what it was. Yeah. I'm sure it was groundbreaking back then, but it was garbage plastic. But you can take this restoration stuff and put it on it. And I literally brought back center consoles back to life. I brought back, I mean, you saw some of this stuff and, and when I you came over to the shop, I mean, it was yep. crazy. And I was just, I had stuff that I was going to junk and then I, I restored it and people were like, that's amazing. So um, just, I mean, there's other products that are out there, but just, it's one of those things, those little details. If you're looking to restore your vehicle, keep it going a little bit longer. You don't want to buy that. Now, new out of stock part that is now on eBay for $4,000 because it's an often <laughs> guess what? Take your old part, try to restore it. Try yeah. a quick hand at this stuff. This stuff goes a long way. I bought one of these bottles and I think I, I probably used that sucker for at least two months. I probably knocked out about 60 parts total. So yeah. um, again, just clean everything with a little bit of rubbing alcohol before then don't use a paper towel. Try to use a microfiber sacrificial 
um, another mac fiber sacrificial, coat it, and then wipe yeah. that sucker down. Let it sit for a day. You're done. And, so and that's, it, it was great. Yeah, I, I did want to be a witness, or I do. I definitely want to promote this myself because I've seen you use this. You actually encouraged me to buy some, and I have some myself. Mm. I am actually working on to uh, restoring the 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 door the interior door handles on my 300 ZX. You know, originally they were a nice dark black, not so much anymore. They look grayish. So I'm actually I bought some for that purpose. That stuff is magic for that kind of stuff. Yeah, yep. I don't know what it is. I used it on my 300 ZX. I did the dash. I did all those trim pieces. I did um, the cow, and it actually came out amazing. I mean, all that stuff that I did not want to buy at least right now. It was yep. perfect. So just and, and then yeah, is it somewhat of a stain though? Because I remember when you when it you is. applied it, yeah. it was a uh, <laughs> you applied liberally. I mean, you've kind of have it's yeah. it's almost like uh, you really got to lay it on to really let it soak, and then do you wipe it after you let it sit? Yeah, you basically uh, just put it on. I let it sit for a, a few moments. Obviously, there's instructions, but <laughs> I applied it. I kind of wiped it off, and then, man, it really brought back everything. And I only kind of bring that up because some of you guys are out there, and you know as well as I do, if that part ain't, isn't available and you can't find it at the junkyard, it don't exist no mo. Because right. Nissan doesn't stock it, and that's it. I mean, you got, we're having to 3D print stuff nowadays to make yep. stuff. I mean, all the Z31 guys and 280ZX guys are, are 3D printing stuff because there's no love out there for them on, on stuff. So try to take care of your parts. Try to keep them restored with stuff like this. If we find another cool product out there that comes up, we'll definitely let you know. We just really like this product. There's no money that's being exchanged. This is truly one of those things we used. We liked. We know it works. I'm not. That's why I don't push like the armor all stuff. I mean, that stuff's kind of garbage. But yeah. this is like kick it up to another level. You know, bring your <laughs> step your game up. So just my two cents. I'm um, a good product out there. Just wanted to make sure everybody knew about it. So. That's a, that's uh, a that's a true example of nerding out. I'm asking you, how do you apply the stuff? Like it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> apply liberally and often. Apply liberally and often. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like what other other gels that you would use for unfor <laughs> forbidden areas. Yes, so, yes. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you was actually uh, a Facebook page of all things. Now this is actually a Facebook group that obviously anybody can. Uh, can try to get into but this is the life and times of paul l newman the man the and the legend um this uh, you know i have i'm on a lot of facebook groups i probably have like four or five hundred facebook groups that i'm on that are nissan dots and infinity based also some of the old heroes from the nissan racing world this has got to be one of the best um facebook groups that i would recommend anybody checking out um, if especially if you're a fan of Paul Newman, only because there's so much footage and behind the scenes photos that I've never seen before that are in here. I mean, really great shots. Um, and uh, the lady who runs this, uh, uh, Margaret Jarvis, she does an amazing job with constantly giving great updates, great old footage of him racing and just, you know, the man behind um, behind the race, uh, behind the race car as well. Um, you know, obviously all his charities, um, some, some shots of him in movies, early stuff. I mean, look at some of these photos, you know what I mean? That you're yeah. not going to get this anywhere else. And I mean, just amazing stuff that you just, that we may have thought was lost at one time or another, Yeah. you know, amazing black and whites articles, um, just really good stuff. So if you get a chance, uh, jump on the website, uh, jump on the Facebook group, the life and times of Paul L. Newman, the man and the legend. Um, again, I, I couldn't recommend it enough. It, 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 uh, it always makes me smile and just kind of takes me back for, yeah. um, uh, to pay, uh, it pays great homage to, uh, uh to a man that we all loved, uh, in our Absolutely, world. Absolutely, man. So. You know, it sounds funny though, dude, but one of these days I really hope we get some sponsorship from uh, Newman's own, like the salad ranch <laughs> dressing and the marinara. Like, I swear to God, dude, every time I make a salad or, you know, whenever I'm shopping for salad and dressing and marinara, I always go for Newman's own. And it's always just because of my connection with Nissan. This, this, that's how much of a nerd I, I go. That's how deep I go, man. Like, my condiments are uh, are Nissan related. That's how. No, I, I, I'm, I'm right there with you, too. Plus, all his Newman stuff, if you ever know that, all that stuff goes to charity. So, I mean, he's just he's he a great guy all around. Yeah. So, kudos to him. So. 
Yes, it is. It is. But, it uh, is. Yeah, man, that's everything that I've got as far as things to check out this week. I think we've got to go through events and we're getting near the end. What do you got? We are. Yes, you're right. Uh, if you want to, I'll go ahead and handle this next portion of the show. Oh, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Get on there. Next one's here is that, of course, we are always trying to use this this podcast. Every episode is meant to be a, a soapbox for us to announce events that are happening in different parts of the country. And so if you do have a car show coming up, we'd be happy to promote it for you. Just con- contact us at info at NissanNerd.com. That being said, we have four events we'll go ahead and share with you guys. And... I'll share my screen. The first one we want to talk about is happening May 20th through the 23rd. We're, of course, talking about the 18th annual Z Days. It's a week-long car show happening uh, in the North Carolina area. uh, For the last, let's just call it the last 16 years, it was always held at the Fontana Resort. Uh, this year is actually happening at a new resort called the Shatala Resort, which I believe is about two hours east of where it was originally uh, of Fontana. So yeah, they, uh, they had to don't they go had to, to the wrong the, place. Yeah, they had to move the location due to a fire. From what I, the rumor is due to body lube. <laughs> Are you, I. I, are you putting me on right now? Is that no, real? No, it's true. That's uh, check it out. It's on Wikipedia. It's like, it says that nothing on no, Wikipedia is ever wrong. Yeah, so, right. They, they a free, body though. lube fire. <laughs> look it up. I'm going to have to look that up though. I'll yes, have to call Brian right. Settle and ask him if the, that's truthful or not. Yeah. But so, yeah, amazing uh, event. This is happening again uh, the second half of May, so we're just not we're not very far away. It's probably about yeah. six weeks away. If you are in the North Carolina area or about, go to zdays.com, register, book your room at the hotel. Yeah, this is I've I've been there, Miles. I know you've been there at various I points. I absolutely well. love it. It's one of my favorite Z events that's out there. It's just casual. It's fun. You're going to make more friends and have more bad tattoos than you ever will (laughs) anywhere else you go. Everybody's super, super cool, super fun. The sponsors that sponsor the event are extremely dedicated to it. All the, uh, all the people that work it are very, um, uh, very dedicated to the event. Brian Settle and his team that are running that event do a damn good job um, of running that every single year there. This is number 18 for them. These people don't play around. They run a tight, show but you know they have a they have a ridiculously amount of good fun time a good time there but they run a tight ship they do they do great judging they do great events they do great awards i cannot talk enough about this event and how you should go if you have the opportunity and you have the means um the new venue uh, i talked to brian uh, sometime back and he said that the new venue offers an opportunity for more people to take advantage of it because the Fontana Village location was limiting on space. This one opens up the opportunity to have so much more growth for them in the future. So this is probably going to be a really big year for them. And I yeah. would recommend trying to make that out there if you can. So I agree, man. I agree. Uh, I, I, know, I know they're working hard at it. So, I mean, I, I definitely think it's just going to be a great, great show. And um well, let's move on, right? So, uh, next ep- next uh, event that we have for you is actually happening June 2nd through June 6th. It's not too far off. It is on the eastern part of the country. It is Branson Z Fest out of Branson, Missouri. Uh, this one is happening again June 2nd through the 6th, uh, May, June. That's not too far off. It's about two or three weeks after Z Day. Right. They're right. They're, right. They're, they're fighting with each other on that. They one. really are. So if you're in that area, you have a heyday. You have a tons. You have no excuse not to make one of these one of these events. And just like Z Days, Branson Z Fest has been around for a while. Maybe not as long, but they are some veterans when it comes to planning a good event. So uh, really recommend making it to this event. Uh, this is at BransonZFest.org. If you are interested, take a look. Look at their schedule. Again, book with the hotel if you are interested. And uh, we'll have to, you know, we should probably get somebody from one of the organizers from the event. We'd love probably to talk to them and let them let, let us know more. Yeah. Uh, that'd be we'll a lot to, of fun. 
Yeah, Let's we'll definitely have to check it out one of these days. So. Yep, yep. So again, props out to the Zcon crew, or sorry, the uh, the Branson Z Fest crew out there. Um, again, I, I we, we, Miles, we and you both know it's not an easy thing to do. It's it's pretty ongoing. So we know the struggle. Keep at it, and uh, we really think this event's gonna be uh, support really your community, good. support your local events. So we can't say that enough. Uh, what else do we got going on? Uh, Zcon's coming up, right? You're right. You're right. So I got two more events left. Next one is Zcon, 34th annual Zcon, happening in Colorado Springs, August 16th through the 21st. Uh, Zcon.org is the place to go. Now, there has been a new, and I'll play this in the background. I believe you can see it there. There has been a new video coming out to uh, promote the event. One of the sponsors, uh, Skid Z Race Shop helped produce this video and honestly i it's i love this the color in the videography of this event uh, of this video uh the car is up there in colorado springs pretty impressive uh you can see this video has got a few of them so we'll let this video run here though but uh the thing with zcon is that registration and and number of seats and if you really want to be a participant in all the events you really need to hit this up early uh the Zcon event is actually having their early bird special. It is in, fe in effect in for about the next nine days. So if you go to zcon.org, you got about nine days to save some money uh, on registration. Miles, sell I some just blood, sell some uh, fluids, <laughs> sell some blood, sell yeah, sell some plasma, uh, sell some other no. plasma. <laughs> go on. Yes. Um, I just registered, Miles. I don't know if I told you this. I just registered today. Uh, I'm, I've got my, I've got, I've got the hotel books. I've got the room. I've got the registration. I've already, uh, mapped out, uh, how much gas money I need. So I'm ready to go, man. I'm, I'm excited for this one. I really want to hit up Pike's peak, man. I'm taking the ride. I'm hitting Pike's peak. Uh, there are guided tours, uh, I believe up that way. So I'm get definitely going at the top. To yeah. <laughs> That's what you do. You make it to the top. You get your donut. Yep. So for those that don't know, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. I think it's, they're going to put it on a great event. You know, Zcons are always a nice, strong event to go to. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I can really say. Every event is always unique and different because you're in a different city. So, um, you know, just take it as you will. But I have to say for the, the times that we've been to, I mean, you and I both have been to Colorado and we've been to Colorado Springs together. We did a recent road tour yep. um, on that and we had a great time there. I mean, uh, Colorado Springs is a bustling city it's been blowing up um over the last uh, number of years ever since they legalized weed but um <laughs> after they legalized weed all that weed money came in and then they started having nice roads and uh, they brought in all the olive gardens that they could handle and i'll tell you what that city all the olive gardens is that synonymous with cannabis is that the deal well i cannabis mean and olive garden? anytime you're a city worth your own weight your, your wealth is measured in Olive Gardens. People know this. Applebee's that, and Olive Gardens. I was going to say Denny's myself. Yeah, Denny's. Denny's that's lowbrow. <laughs> I see that's, that's the poor kid in you. That's the poor Southside kid in you telling you. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> I was brought up in a uh, non, uh, what's it, uh, Lumberjack Slam uh, zone. <laughs> Grand Slam? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, The yeah. Grand, non-Grand Slam area. But uh, – you had Waffle Houses, you poor soul. Waffle but House. moving on. Oh, All yes, right. Yes, one, yes, we've yes. got one more moving event on. to go over. Uh, Last event. Yeah, hit it. Yes. This is actually the latest. This is the first time that we're announcing this. This event was just announced happening mm. October 9th, October 8th and 9th in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Of course, we are talking about Z Nationals oh, nice. hosted by Z1 Motorsports. Sweet. Brand new I video, tons this. of excitement. Oh yeah, check check this video out, man. They 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 went all out with their videos for sure. Oh man. Yeah, but Z Nationals is always a good solid event. So It's been a great time. I've made the last 5 myself, man. I, I always seem to find my way out there, so uh lots of fun. Of course, it Typically, is a two-day event. First day is at Road Atlanta. You got a track day happening. Today is actually at Z1 Motorsports facility in Carrollton. It's about a about forty-five minutes <coughs> west of Atlanta. Of course, they're doing dyno competitions, car shows, tons of sponsors. The uh, Nismo booth will be out there. You got the models, of course. 
uh, really, really fun time. Uh, this one, again, happening at znationals.com is where you can go. This is a big one. They are having the grand opening of their uh, remodeled facility. As you can yeah. see there, uh, this has been a work in progress for the last, oh, my God, a uh, few years, year and right? a half. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They've been they've been, they've been, been giving a lot of previews about their facility, yeah. and they're using this year's Z Nationals as one of the uh, essentially the time to come out and – uh, check out the new facility. So a lot of excitement. Personally, Miles, I don't know about you. I do plan on getting a uh, making that a weekend trip. I'm just yeah. gonna fly in and get a rental car. Uh, I've done it before. The guys are awesome there, man. Good friends of mine. We do it. Why not? You know, I haven't seen those boys in a while, and we always have a good time. It will show up a day or two before, so we can, I don't know, shout out the devil for a little bit before we uh, <laughs> go to the event. So yeah, it should be fun. So um, yeah, I mean, you know, Z One's always been a great support of the community. We've known those guys yeah. since, uh, they, since the beginning, yeah, over a decade. I mean, years and years and years. And they, and they, they put out great, great products and they, you know, half these people's cars wouldn't be on the roads without them. Um, so I wouldn't. Know, <laughs> well, yeah, of course you wouldn't. So. <laughs> but, and I mean, it, you know, they employed you for a while, which is, you know, great. It got you off the streets <laughs> you know, got you off drugs. Um, so they you know, cleaned kudos me up pretty to, well. Yeah. They cleaned you up. So kudos to Z One for cleaning you up and getting you off of uh, getting you <laughs> off of those horrible, horrible uh, drugs. By yes. that I mean candy cigarettes. I mean you were you were addicted. I am pretty you, were, straight edge. you were two packs a day. You know, I'm candy cigarettes. So, I'm relatively straight edge, but you're right. Yeah, they cleaned the me up. Big league chew. They, you were dipping they, with the big league chew, man. You they gave bad. me that come to Jesus moment, and uh, I accepted it. So, <laughs> come yeah, to yeah, Jesus. yeah. <laughs> Found the Lord. All right. But Moving yeah, on. Them, um, again, support uh, Z Nats and continue to support Z1. They're a great company, and uh, they continue to share the community, continue to uh, take care of the community. I don't know, Mike. That's a lot. Uh, I don't I don't know if I got anything else. We're running over an hour. We're uh, definitely an hour and 15. What else you got? We- we are right on time, man. And so events, those are the events that we have coming for you guys. Definitely, if you are in the area of any of these areas, or you plan on making a uh, cross-country trip like we are, just do it, man. You'll you'll definitely make some friends, have a great experience, a long time. Uh, before we rack up, re- before we wrap up, uh, essentially what we want to say is, of course, uh, this is live on uh, Facebook, uh, live streaming. We are also you can you can check out these episodes and past episodes through our YouTube channel. You can find us like with every social media outlet out there. You can just type in search for Nissan Nerd, uh, like us, share us, subscribe for future episodes that we uh, will have. You can actually contact us personally through email uh, info at nissannerd.com. We're always trying to improve. Miles, like you said, me and you, this is. Our one-year show, essentially, yeah. uh, we've learned we've learned a lot, and uh, we're, we're we're not done either. So uh, we definitely value feedback. If you've got some ideas for us, either a feature for a uh, just a feature on a car or an event or whatever it may be, any type of feedback whatsoever, contact us, email us. You got the email there right below us. Uh, we we check this uh, very very often. Very often. And we can check us out. Uh, again, we uh, uh, that is our direct line, in other words. So uh, aside from that, Miles, I I, th- I think I we're think pretty we're done, good. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. It was a good episode. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy about it. I feel good about it. I feel like I put something positive out there in the ether. So you yeah. did pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's not pat ourselves on the back. Calm down. All right? <laughs> Just get off my back. All right. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, but we uh we got new episodes coming out to you. We're gonna try to get these bi-weekly. No, we're not saying that bi-weekly. Now I know this last bi-monthly. week you were bi-monthly. Bi-monthly. Bi-monthly this, sounds good. This last uh you were in out you were essentially out of state this last week, of course. We always shoot for every other week. Don't put it uh, off I, on I, me. I really think we should no 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 of course. No, not, no, no. Sure. I see you what you're doing. <laughs> no, last episode. Last you, episode. It's over. We're finished. We're broken yeah. up. We're pushing for every two weeks. So, of course, we will have another episode for you, let's just say, two weeks from now. Um there's there's a lot happening, so we, we always try to stay on top of a 
the the Nissan rumor mill, the Nissan news channels, Infinity yeah. news channels, send always trying to provide you with send the latest drama. Updates. Send us rumors, juice. Oh man, cheese we want it. man, yeah. cheese <laughs> man. Send us the cheese. I want to hear all the dirty rumors, the Inquirer stuff. Send me. I want to know. For those of you that are online, thank you for interacting with us. We definitely love sharing your comments. We we this is our outreach for you guys. Uh, these guys, <laughs> oh, oh man, I guess a good one there from Jay. Don't get sucked into the friendships, these guys are dangerous. Dirt, <laughs> dirty Jay, dirty oh, Jay, <laughs> dirty Jay, trying to call me out like that, homie. Better watch Loving yourself. Feedback. If I see you in the streets, <laughs> that's it. I'll get you in the streets. I'll get you in the streets to find you in the sheets. Just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> no, but, but thank uh, you seriously yeah. to everybody for out there support. It's been a long year, a lot of learning curves. I mean, me and Mike do this on our own budget, on our own time. And uh, we just do this for the straight love of doing it, hoping that people out there enjoy it. So continue to support us, continue to subscribe, pass us on uh, to your friends. And uh, we are just uh, trying to grow the event. So again, thank you to everybody out there. We love you, love the community. Make sure to get out there, get in your garage, build something cool. And uh, Mike, I guess uh, I have to say come pie to you, buddy. Come pie, sir. Great show. I loved it. Clink, clink. Woo. Clink. Finish off what you have. Yeah. Don't tell me how to live my life. Mm -hmm. mm. You're not my mom. <laughs> 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 well, that's another episode, guys. We'll see you next time. See you soon, guys. Thanks for being with us, and we'll find you in another episode of the Nissan Nerd Podcast. We didn't talk about your flatulence at all. The f my flatulence? Yeah. Are we still live? I told you that in confidence, bro. I told you not we, to say that. We yeah. need to get that checked out, bro. That does not look... Are we still live? Why are we still live? I just you realize I just told everybody you have flatulence, right? I mean, you told me you could help me because you've experienced it yourself. So. I, I lie about a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am not okay. a medical doctor. Neither am I, man. I, I should probably seek some, though. But yes, yes. Go. Oh, uh, my God. Get away. What are you still doing here, man? Yeah. Get out of here. I see go. You. We got see you guys. You. Go. Go home. <laughs> go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bye, Bye Felicia. Bye. Bye. You Bye. go. <laughs> Get out of here. Go. Oh. We, st we still see you. We know you're there. <laughs> no, I see you hiding behind that curtain. All right, go. All right, Miles, again. Go. Great go. time. Go. I, no more. No more buys. No more kisses. Go. Go. <laughs> Cut it off. They charge by the minute. We charge Cut by off. the minute. Yeah, yeah. Go. <laughs> I see you guys, Miles. I'll Bye. see you, man. Later. Bye. Yeah.